Welcome to Spirit Baby Radio. I am your host, Kelly Meehan, a citizen of the universe and a passage keeper and mentor for our new earth children. I believe we are entering into a new psychic structure of our reality, and it is meant to embody deeper trust and ways into solid self-love and fearless integrity. Our new world energy of spirit babies needs us to consciously create within conception, trust pregnancy, and have freedom to birth and parent from innate wisdom. This is Spirit Baby Radio. Welcome to episode 190, May 10th, 2024. Energize your story into healing your spirit baby relationship with communication. How will the energy support your next moves? What emotional love do you need to access your fertility and pregnancy field? How can you keep open with your spirit baby communication? As always, it is me, Kelly Meehan, spirit baby medium, medical intuitive, and mentor. And I want to talk about where are we in our spiritual journey of life, our own fertile heart space, and maybe you are in a conception journey. I like calling it a journey, and everyone knows for more than a decade of this work. Oh, aren't we just on a journey? <laughs> life is but a journey. And as we are waking up, right, to the wild world that we're in, right, there's so much to be felt, seen, and heard by this reality. And I want to say welcome to the new earth. It is here. And it's not an imagination. It's not a fantasy. It's not a thought. I'm not making it up. It is here. It's in the frequency and vibration. And we are slowly weaving our way into expanding into that. And yes, yeah, systems will crash. Things may not look very pretty, but I want to assure you on some level to trust yourself, trust your body, your body's listening, your energy's here, and you are just in relationship with your life. And it's okay. You know, many people will question like, well, I don't know. I don't feel the way that person does, or I don't hear the way that person does. It doesn't matter because we are all set to different tones of our own field, right? Some call it frequency, vibration, energy. I have a different meaning of those words. I, I feel like they can collaborate together, but to me, they're all very different. And so the tone of your own existence right now and your own light body, it is instilled and I want to say um, embedded with your power, with the life force of love. And you are nature. You are like the trees outside, the grass, the earth, the rocks, the water, the fires, the sun, the universe, the stars. We are all these things, right? And it's not, I'm not just trying to be poetic and, and I, and I love being poetic, but <laughs> it's more than just words and thoughts and ideas. It's embodiment. And the more in this organism of our body of cells and the feelings we have and the expansive, like even the cushions, I'm just touching my body right now. If you're on YouTube, you can see it. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> but if you're tuning in and listening, you'll see, but it's like this, this, you know, the skin, this body, the cells, there's so much happening here. And, um, and there's going to be times where you're going to really feel the joy and the presence of life and more than anything, I should say the presence of life, you're present. <laughs> oh, not in the past, not in the future. And I'm not going to pretend that I have that shit figured out. I am a time traveler all the time. I, I prophetically go into the future. I don't control it, by the way. People think, oh, we got to like put our mind to it. Like my body just sends me information and I'm like, okay, like information. The past is the one that's the hardest because most of us have so much baggage from our own life <laughs> that's unresolved, or we could even go further back into ancestral lineage. We can go into past lives, which by the way, is an offshoot of the lineage, which is like a real kick, right? It's like, man, there's a lot of work to do. And I think the more we realize that the foundation of this earth world is founded on trauma. I don't say that to scare people. Or to be like, ah, shit, Kelly, I got a lot of work to do. No. 
we can only do individual intimate work with our own lineage and our own ancestral patterns and our own past life stuff, but we don't have to sit there, hang out with it and figure it all out. This is where the error is of humans. We can't, we think we have to use this high functioning left brain activation and it's untrue. There is literally in your body of being right now, there is another part of you that is finely tuned in, that is so in attunement. I feel like I want to make this circle motion, like this attunement. And that part of you, I don't want to put a name to it, to be honest. I feel like I want to decompress the names of many things. It's like starting from new, ripping up the pages, burning the pages, even new age, I feel like metaphysical field. It's like everything in anything that's of the desires of spirit baby or crystals or energy healing modalities, they're not pinned into a specific category, right? But we've done that. We've categorized it. But I want it to be like natural synergy that you feel connected to something and you move with it, whether it's mainstream alternative, right? Or collaborative. And that feels really important because when we hold ourselves to being one thing or another, it feels so held. It feels so like unnatural and we are nature. We are natural. We are connected to the rhythms of our own spirit, right? To the movement of who we are. And we get to be reminded of that, not just by the outdoors of the sun, the moon, the stars, but our fellow human beings that we are in friendship with, relationship with, even the stranger on the road. I feel like the energy, when we feel secure and good in our bodies of creative force, then we can be in relationship in really powerful ways. And I'm talking to you empaths <laughs> or the ones that want to feel hidden. I'm not going to make you not hide. Um, the introverts, um, introverts, extroverts, you're all accepted, you're all beautiful, wherever you are, wherever your rhythm is. But I want to kind of just kind of keep breaking down that as an empath, you don't have to be scared of the world. You don't have to hide who you are, your feelings, your energy has a beautiful purpose. And your self care is valuable. And keep expanding into that sensitive love being that you are. And maybe you're in this conception journey and you're like, what the heck is happening? I feel like we are, as I said earlier, the new earth is here. I am a future person. So maybe I'm like, <laughs> I'm already like, okay, it's already here. Then why isn't it anything else in collaboration with it? It is, it is more and more and more. It's kind of like when we're recreating energy around things, they become that eventually, right? And so people are elevating their existence, we'll say. And in their elevation of their existence <clears throat> is really the true you. Your true connection to your own beingness, your heart space, we can say. And the connection to your what you're bringing into the world. Are you on a journey of conception? Maybe you're having infertility issues or there are things coming up. Do your own inner self connection with that, your work, whatever the work is. I know work sounds like such a crappy, crappy name for it, but what is it that you are? And when I say work, I'm not like, okay, got to do the yoga now, got to do this now, got to do that now, got to do that now. It's like, but I don't want to do anything. What if you don't want to do anything? What if you just stop doing everything and just said, screw it, I'm going to do whatever, um, I think it's really healthy because our egos get so enchanted and hard around got to do this routine, got to do that routine. And I'm a really big, if you know me for years, I'm like, you got to change up that routine, throw, throw a freaking rock in the, in the spokes, <laughs> trip it up, you know, stop and do something different. And sometimes we do have really big events that rock us into like, oh my gosh. And we, we can't be the mastermind of having to solve it through control and logic. Oh, I should say that again. Your logic <laughs> is not going to control the master of who you are here and meant to be. And what is your child and spirit, your new earth baby being have to share with you? Huh? What do they want to say? Maybe you're like, I don't hear them, Kelly. I'm mad. I don't hear them, Kelly. Why don't I hear them? Why don't you hear them? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. 
I don't want to make you feel bad, but I kind of want to push your energy. What, what, what is there not to feel and know? And, and I, yeah, maybe some would say I'm more fortunate because I can hear and see things, but I, I, it's just not an overnight process for me. I came in as infant Kelly different. <laughs> I'm not going to use the word advanced. That sounds so like, oh, I'm like the queen or king of the reality. I came in at, at a different level. Maybe it was a little higher than my family. Oh no, I know it was definitely higher than my family. Um, and because they came in with whatever their mission was, right. And I came in with my own mission and now it's interesting because most of my family is on um, in the other side, in the other life, the afterlife. And there's only just me and my brother left. Interesting because there's biological lineage connections, but there's more than that too. It's like the, the listening between worlds of energy and what is, you know, expanding. And so maybe you are questioning your connection to your own spirit baby beings. And I want to just keep encouraging you to evolve into yourself. Not to evolve with the other person or that person. That How do you evolve into yourself? And this is why in private sessions, I can see the energy and beautiful purpose of people, right? I can really see that. And um, I wish everybody would just see that. You would like look at your enemy or people that you're annoyed by. If you can see their spark in a very clear energetic structure, you would have so much more love. I know it's a hard one. Because there has been a lot of resistance throughout my life with people and relationships and family and, you know, and maybe that's needed to be that way. But your new earth child, this energy that's coming forward. I did a past episode. I gave a list that's coming out in my book about the new earth child. Like, what does that mean when Kelly says that? You got to go back a few episodes from this episode and I go more deeper and clear into that and just know that you are in relationship, that you are opening, that you're connecting. Even if you're struggling with infertility, I'm so over, I'm going to say it. And, and, and I know it's going to feel like, oh, that could feel like either really good or really bad. <laughs> um, the, the infertility, the biggest hoax of this reality, like let's your co-creation, your creative force. This is why I created the quantum energetic spirit baby programs, co-creation, a journey with spirit baby, hopefully will be available the summer or fall, but this is like this program, especially these many women in miscarriage come through pregnancy, 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 the energy's there. Motherhood is there. You are allowed to be mother. And if you are on an infertility journey, I would say it like that. It sounds like, but I also, I know words for powerful energy is powerful. I want you just to take a moment, place your hand on your heart. And just drop into your body, soften your shoulders, take a breath, feel your legs and feet. Where are you right now? Are you in your head? Are you scattered? Just take a, a moment to be in your body. And I'm going to join you. And it's okay if you're not sure if you're in your body or not. Um, just feeling what wants to come through. I feel energy moving here. <clears throat> and I'm just in observation with it. I'm not trying to change anything. I'm just noticing the pressures of my body, where I'm sitting. Where am I? How does that feel? I feel physical things. I feel emotional things. I feel mental things. And know right now in your embodiment space that you are in aligned attraction with receiving your child, your baby, son, your daughter. It is not beyond you. And there's nothing that, you know, is telling you otherwise. You feel that alignment. And if it feels really challenging or sticky and your frequency is ready, come to me email me for a private session. I'm not taking a lot of people right now for the many months. So if you're really feeling this call and there's synergy between what I want to support you in and have you up level and release and come into that next level of your new earth child agreement, message me. 
you know how to find me, spiritbabymedium at gmail.com. I, I like a good challenge. Challenge me. I want to go into the deeper energies that no one else can go into. I want a good challenge. So come, come with love. Or maybe you're a pre you're in pregnancy journey. Ah, place your hands on your belly, rub your belly, whether it's super tiny, super big. Oh, your new earth child, your son, your daughter, what a gift. They are coming through. They are in physical form. They are speaking to you in colors and symbols and signs and animals and dreams. Let that baby being keep coming through. And if you're anxious, unsure, remember purity. Align your frequency with purity because this baby being does not want to be poked and prodded and really looking at the intervening of the natural synergistic process, really sitting in reflection, talking to your body, talking to your baby, please, I beg you, if you have to get poked and prodded and procedures and wands and things, talk to your baby, please. They know what's happening. Electromagnetic fields and other energies. They don't want disruption. New earth babies want natural connection, less disruption, even in birth, if you're hospital birthing, which means you're birthing in fear. And I say that with so much love. I am not judging you. It is the truth. It is a truth. I can't help but that truth. Um, if you're birthing in a center, you can still birth with fear there too, though. <laughs> but the hospital is a different, it's a different monster of its own, really trying to set and create that beautiful love space, doula space, midwifery space. If you are in a home birth at your home, you there you go. You can birth a little bit of fear, but you're birthing in your own way and rules. No intervening. Yes, even midwives do not intervene <laughs> unless super, 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 super needed. And then free birthing can't leave that beautiful unassisted birth. No intervention, no intervening purity come through. So laboring, birthing, your spiritual connection, and then... Oh, baby beings here. Look at this beautiful baby being now. Your son, your daughter named. The soul is glowing in their physical form. You're not tampering with that. Hospital births, midwifery births, home births. Don't tamper with it. Really don't. This baby's pure. It doesn't need anything. It doesn't need salves. It doesn't need injections. It doesn't need anything but you. <laughs> your nursing milk, if you have some. You, your connection, your bond, your synergy, your chemistry, your hormones, that baby is pure purity. I hold that love in that. And let's say I'm going to bring it in now into the birth loss community. Oh, let's say you've had miscarriage, stillbirth, later loss. Just place your hands, really just resting them on your, around your lower abdomen. Just actually one hand in the lower abdomen, one hand in the heart space. Maybe you've had a miscarriage, stillbirth, abortion, later infancy loss. I send so much love to you in such gratitude and honor. And I'm sorry that your heart is hurting so deeply in that space. And you are wrapped in the golden light of love and divinity so deeply that this mission and this confusion space, that your baby and spirit is in such deep purity of communication with you. And you can transcend through whatever the energy is asking you in this time of grief and heartache. And holding your heart in your womb space, I want you to just go into the quiet space of tenderness and love and ease of your shoulders and ease of your belly and ease of your womb space. Maybe just close your eyes for a moment. And receiving that your baby being is in communication with you. They are sending signs, symbols, communication, connection, messages. And you will see those signs outside of you through repetitive, um, repetitive things that may show up symbolically through shapes, numbers, form, animals. You may get dream space, daydreaming of meditation, nighttime dream, receive. It is a time of receiving yourself. Go and create honoring, get some flowers, put them in a bowl of water, splash them on you, or just mix them around. Go out into nature. Let the energy of life and death be a part of you because that is the truth when you have birth loss. You are life and death embodiment. And be held in that. I would say email me too. I will take on different experiences and different situations. I have a heart and a connection with the children of light in the frequency that I'm in deep connection with, and they will come through. 
Um, I trust that they keep coming through into what we're building and creating in the healing portal, I can say in the healing portal. So spiritbabymedium at gmail.com. <laughs> I feel like everybody knows my email address. It's kind of, it's kind of there, the spirit baby medium. And I just want to, you know, keep offering yourself that love. Spirit baby communication, new earth energy is here. Whether you are in conception, pregnancy, or healing through loss, the new energies now um, in this timeline, since I said it was May 2024, the big energy, we are in new earth, as I said. And how do I know this? <laughs> because I hear things for many, many years about the earth shifting all the time. And I hear the this destruction that comes through through certain ways into me and I keep them very private, though. I don't actually fully announce them. I, I don't want to create fear for people because the earth is evolving and we are shedding different parts. And there is going to be more things that are going to feel extremely unsettling and um, super intense. But we have to come back to our space of love, right? More than anything, we have to keep coming back because the presence of love is going to be everything for who we are and who we become. And so the energy shifting happening now is all about relationships, relationships, a partner, decompressing could be failing, falling, crumbling, burning, rebuilding, restructuring, golden energy structures, um, relationships with um, mothers, fathers, relationships with children, grieving the losses of many things, grieving the loss of children, not just the war energy, but what's to come. We're very much timeline. Many people feel the future energy we have to really be in our grief spaces now it's really big and not just the loss of life but other levels of loss too are coming forward very strong ways in a lot of different people and so knowing there will be days where it just days suck and if life feels like you have no idea where it's going and other days you will be in the joy and the light of of the grace and beauty and guess what you're not crazy <laughs> That's how we're supposed to live life. We are authentically being in neutrality of the positive and negative, sometimes separate, sometimes together. If you think that you're meant to live this positive sense of ego all the time, then you have done it wrong. We have to move through negative, hard energies to find the balance, right? To find our neutrality that both positive and negative will be equal. And so... You are in new earth activation. Your new earth baby is in communication with you. And I hold so much love for that journey for you. And I want to thank you for joining this episode, connecting with this energy in this time of your own relationship as a human being, as a starlight being, as an angelic being, as a God being, as a universal heart being, wherever your energy wants to go, hybridization being <laughs> of many different things, really just sink into your multidimensional you. It is everything, it is purity, and we'll see what happens in the next months to come. I feel like there's all, so much change. Be in the change. Ground your nervous system, do embodiment. I offer six month somatic embodiment uh, experience with a bit of biology, a lot of exercise, get your nervous system regulated, feel the love and connection of who you are, heal the old parts. And so take a breath, you're doing it. You are a spirit baby intuitive, you are in communication. And I want to thank you to episode 190 energize your story into healing your spirit baby relationship with communication much love bye-bye thank you for joining spirit baby radio with your host me kelly Meehan. please join my community and stay in touch with monthly energy rants spirit baby poetry and get access to spirit baby 101 with tips and practices at my newsletter at newearthchildren.com and join me on Instagram with lives at Spirit Baby Medium and join the Mighty Networks, the Spirit Baby Collective Membership and Motherhood to Mediumship. Remember, you are the heart that holds communication and it is your time to connect. Come share in the great shift of your mind and the true spirit of your heart with Spirit Baby Communication.